Hey, what's up guys, Mitch HD here with another awesome model. Um, make sure you check the description for anything you may miss throughout this video, as well as my social media links will be down there, and the website where I pre-ordered this from, which was jetwaymodels.com. So anyway, this is my um, 12th 787 model, and it's my second United Airlines model. This is a United 787-9 by Gemini Jets in a 1-200 to scale. Some information about United Airlines. They're the world's largest airline by number of destinations served. Operation space is out of the Willis Tower in Chicago. Main hub is Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Secondary hubs are Antonio B1 Pat International Airport, which is in Guam. Denver International Airport, George Bush Intercontinental. Honolulu International Airport, Los Angeles International Airport, Tokyo Narita International Airport, Newark Liberty International Airport, San Francisco International Airport, and Washington Dulles International Airport. They were founded on the 6th of April 1926 as Varney Airlines in Boise, Idaho as an airmail service. Their fleet consists of 717 mainline aircraft as of the 3rd of September 2015, 20 of which are 787s, 12 of these 787s are Dash 8s and 8 are Dash 9s with um, 10 787-9s and 25 787-10 unfilled orders. They have 375 destinations across six continents, the six inhabited continents. Um, their current 787 routes are from Denver to Tokyo Narita, Honolulu to Tokyo Narita, Houston to Denver, Lagos, London Heathrow, San Francisco, Sao Paulo, Gurulhos, and from Los Angeles to Melbourne, Shanghai, Pudong, Tokyo, Narita, and then from San Francisco to Chengdu and Osaka, Kansai. The first flight for this aircraft was on the 11th of July 2014 and was delivered to United on the 16th of September 2014. It was their first 787 9 to enter their fleet, and the Boeing customer code for United is 22. Alright, so let's take a look around the box here. So we have Gemini 200 United, picture the aircraft, and scale 1 to 200. And then we've got some information on the back here, you can just read that if you want to. Sorry, stop the um, glare, or the reflection off the box, sorry. Um, licenses down there, top of the box, the right side bottom and the left and then we've got the like flap here which has become regular on 787 models now just zoom this in and you can just if you want to pause it and read it try and get the best angle for you there we go all right so let's open it up And there she is. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box. And we'll start here on the port side at the front. So, we have the cockpit windows. Star Alliance logo, because they're part of the Star Alliance group, which is a group of 27 airlines. Then we have Peter tube static ports, and we have 0950 on the gear door. That means two things. 0950 is their fleet number and 950 is part of the registration ETOPS for extended operations first cabin door United titles and we have the realistic landing light and we have the GE NX 1B engine I'll show you inside the engine here it's also the engine strike on the inside of the engine nacelle, right here, and the fan blades, they spin quite well. Same on this side, and they're very detailed, although they could have done with slightly bigger fans to 
be honest. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure they're too, th too thin. And you see the chevron teeth at the back here. Um, they're basically just there to reduce noise um, and help the, you know, uh, reduce noise by um, mixing the cooler bypass air with the hotter engine core air, um, thus reducing noise and increasing thrust. And then on the wingtip, we have the red navigation light. I love the um, flexed uh, wing. And you see the nice gold streak running across the fuselage. Um, 787 Dreamliner. There's a registration N38950 or November 38950. That's what I was meaning by the 950. Um, part of the registration and also up here by the last cabin, <coughs> cabin door. Sorry. Uh, that's their fleet number there. Then we've also got a bulk bin door underneath the registration and the American flag because they're a flag carrier of the United States. Then we've got the United Continental logo. And I'll just show you the APU. Very nice APU. Strobe light um, here and here. And it's a nice 3D APU because it's actually got a hole in it, so I can just put the screwdriver in there, um, which is very good. Just you know, it adds that detail when you have um, the hole for the APU. Then we've got the Starlance logo on this side, part of the registration and the. Um, fleet number on the gear door as well as ETOPS, PDU troops, static ports, United titles, uh, front cargo container door, realistic landing light, and the GE NX engine. Then on the wingtip on this side, we've got the green navigation light. And continuing down the fuselage. We have 787 Dreamliner, rear cargo container door, registration American flag, and the United Continental logo on the tail. Alright guys, so I'll just show you underneath the aircraft now. So we've got the nose gear. We've got a beacon light there, hole for the stand, main gears, gear doors, flaps, lats, ailerons. See the nice raked flex wingtip. Details underneath the engine right there. Very, very detailed. Same on this side. Gemini Jets logo. And continuing down we have an antenna and the APU housing, which you can't see, that they haven't painted it on, that's okay. Then we have an emergency escape hatch above the uh, flight deck. Got an anti-collision light, this is an unusual colour, I've never seen a, a clear, clear one before. Um, they're usually red. I don't know if they messed up on this one, I think they might have, but I've never seen a clear one. Um, antenna and the Wi-Fi um, box, it's just nice 3D, it's a pretty big one actually. Flaps, lets ailerons and spoilers on the wing, very nice detail there. You can also see the no step marking, but dirt. I'll get that off afterwards. Same on this side. Keep it zoomed in. Just show you the awesome detail. Right, 
So now we've got the setcom little 3D piece that's been put on a couple more antennas and down towards the tail we have a grey dot on each side of the horizontal stabilizers those are the um, logo lights that light up the tail at night time alright so show the seating for the seacraft Alright, so seating for this aircraft, we have our one configuration. So we have business first, 48 flatbed seats, rows 1 to 8. So that's here, 2, I think here, somewhere. Just, just past the uh, leading edge of the wing, where it attaches to the fuselage. And then we've got economy plus, 88 seats, rows 16 to 24. So about here to the trailing edge of the wing and economy 116 seats rows 27 to 41 so here all the way to the back of the aircraft and that um, gives a total of 252 seats all up all right so some features of this aircraft tilt and gears wheels um, let me just check here Oh yeah, that. Oops. Yeah, the gear kind of falls off easily. That one. Yeah, they roll fairly well. They just don't feel like they do. Um, the main gears. If you look, they slightly move a bit, especially this one here. But the rear one on the well, the one on the other side, over this side, um, it's kind of wants to fall off a bit more. It wobbles. Um, where it should be flush and attached properly and front gear swivels as you can see I've been moving it throughout this video to try and straighten it up and that's pretty much it for the features so I just put it on the stand here real quick so I'll give you a look off the stand just a general stand nice wooden stand Gemini Jets logo film on the back to protect the metal and the pad on top to protect the model underneath so it doesn't scratch it. So just take the film off here. And you're always going to get maybe a couple of finger marks on it when taking it off. And it reveals a nice shiny metal back. Alright, so let's put it on the stand here. And it just sits in nicely as it should, right there, a little more effort getting that one on but maybe that's showing, yeah it's actually a lot more secure than I thought which is good, so you always get a bit more satisfaction and added security when it's more secure and um, the gears, the magnetic so you just remove them very easily and put them back on very easily, same one here, if I can there we go, let's back on. And when you want it in flight mode, here's the gear doors to put them on for in flight mode. Alright, guys, so this is about going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed. I highly recommend getting this model, it's a beautiful model 787-9's per perfectly proportioned aircraft, and it's just a great model for any collection. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed, comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you're going to get it, subscribe for more, I have British Airways A380 and a Qantas 767 freighter, and I just did an Air China 777 unboxing, so go check those out, and share this video so other people can know about it, and see if they want to get it as well, so anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.